In this 5 minutes of presentation, we will see risk prioritization as per the ICH and WHO requirements. Here we will relook the concept of severity, probability and detection. At the end, we will see one classic example for risk prioritization. To be clear on the risk prioritization concept, we need to revisit the concept of severity, probability and detection. detection. Severity is how significant the identified risk is in terms of impact on product quality and patient safety. If the identified risk is having more impact on product quality and patient safety, it will be categorized as severe. Next concept is probability. Probability means how often or frequency of occurrence is identified for the identified risk. If the frequency of occurrence is more, then the risk will be considered as a probable risk. Next concept is detectability. It includes methods to detect deviations or their associated parameters. To perform the risk prioritization, we rank all these three parameters and calculate the risk prioritization number. Now we will see the ranking for severity. First, we will see the ranking of severity. Severity is most commonly ranked in a four classes that is low, moderate, high and critical. Whenever we observe the identified risk will have a no or minor GMP non-compliance, no possible impact on patient yield or no production capability impact, impact is foreseen. Then we will rank this identified risk into a low category. As the impact of identified risk on the patient health yield or production capability goes on increasing, then this severity ranking goes on increasing for identified risk. In case of significant GMP non-compliance is foreseen and possible impact on patient and moderate impact on yield or on production capability is foreseen, then the identified risk is categorized as moderate, whereas in case of major GMP non-compliance is foreseen and probable impact on patient health, high impact on yield or production capability is foreseen then the identified risk is categorized as high and the finally if the serious GMP non-compliance is foreseen and probable serious harm or death is foreseen for the patient and impact on yield or production capability is high then the identified risk will be categorized as a critical. We will assign the score in an increasing order like 2, 4, 6, 54 to low, moderate, high and critical ranking severity. Next ranking is probability ranking. Probability ranking is most commonly given based on the review of previously documented evidences. Probability is commonly ranked in a four classes that is extremely low, low moderate and high whenever we foreseen that identified risk is highly in highly improbable to occur we will classify it into the extremely low or the first class secondly if identified risk is foreseen as improbable to occur then it will be classified or categorized under the second class as low if we foreseen the probability of occurrence is more then we will categorize identified risk as a moderate and based on the review if we found that identified risk is highly probable to occur then we will categorize it into the fourth class as a high based on the classification we will assign the score as 2 4 6 and 8 to extremely low low and moderate high class respectively Next ranking is detection ranking. Detection system or detection control is ranked in a four classes that is high, moderate, low or non-existent. Based on the review, if we observe that control system is in place and has a high probability of detecting the defect or its effects, then we will rank it as a high. If control system is in place could detect the defects or it effects it will be classified as moderate and if control system is in place
place has a low probability of detecting the defects or its effects it will be categorized as low and in case if we doesn't have any control system to detect the defect then it will be categorized as non existent and scores will be assigned accordingly like 2 4 6 and 8 To summarize severity, probability and detection ranking, in case of severity, low score is assigned to the risk which is having minor GMP non-compliance, GMP non-compliance is no possible impact on patient yield or production capability, whereas high score is assigned to the risk which is having serious GMP non-compliance, probable serious harm or death of the patient and impact on yield and production capability. Whereas in case of probability, lower score is assigned to the highly improbable to occur risk and high score is assigned to the risk which is highly probable to occur. In case of detection ranking, low score is assigned for control system is in place and having high probability of detecting the defect or its effects. Whereas high score is assigned to the risk which is with no control system to detect the defect. To calculate RPN rating, we should multiply the scores assigned to severity, probability and detection. The multiplication answer of severity and probability detection score is if more than 216 then the identified risk will be categorized as critical. If it is between 40 to 216 it will be major and if it is lower than 40 then it will be minor. Now we will see the one example for RPN ranking. Here the parameter considered is sterility of bulk. As we know sterility of bulk is very very important for injectable manufacturing and it may cause a serious GMP non-compliance. This may also has an probable, an probable serious harm effect on the patient's health and it may cause a death of patient also. This may have an impact on production capability so it will be categorized as critical for the severity ranking for the sterility of bulk we perform sterility test and this control system is in place and that could detect the defect or its effects so here we will rank the detection as a moderate and in case of probability if based on the review of previously documented evidences we observe that this is improbable to occur hence we ranked as a 4 under low category so final score given for probability is 2 detection is 4 and severity is 54 and here we got the SPD as a 432 and final conclusion is that we should categorize sterility of bulk Thank you for watching, subscribe to channel for more videos related to pharmaceutical industry.